So a couple of weeks ago, the news dropped that one of the most popular pieces of software in the Linux community was being abandoned. And that software is NeoFetch. Now, NeoFetch is one of those pieces of software that is not useful, really. It doesn't really have a useful purpose, but a lot of people used it. And when we found out that it was no longer going to be maintained, a lot of people really kind of freaked out about it and had to go hunt for an alternative because they needed something that was going to still be updated because obviously you're going to be worried about security flaws or lack of updates on a fetch mechanism or a fetch program. So that actually happened. There was a lot of drama a couple, just a couple of weeks ago when this piece of software was no longer going to be maintained or when we found out that it was going to be no longer, no longer maintained. So all of that drama and all of the YouTube videos that came out around that time, and all the people on Mastodon and Twitter who were freaking out about NeoFetch no longer being updated, kind of spurred me to ask the question, what's the big deal? NeoFetch still works. I still use NeoFetch right now. I will still use NeoFetch a year from now. Why did it matter so much to people that this piece of software was no longer going to be maintained? And that led to the question, should you use software that's no longer maintained? And that's what we're going to answer today. So let's go ahead and jump in. But before we do, if you leave a thumbs up on this video, I'd really appreciate it. Also, I know I'm not looking straight at the camera because if I look at the camera, you can't see my eyes because there's a window back there and I didn't close the curtains. I should have done that. But We'll, we'll just ignore the fact that I'm not looking straight at the camera. I'll figure it out. Anyways, so should you use software that's no longer maintained? The answer is, as per usual, it depends. Because it does depend on the software that we're talking about. On NeoFetch, or in the, in the case of NeoFetch, I don't see a reason why you shouldn't keep using it because it's not a piece of software that's going to lead to you know a massive zero day flaw that in the kernel or something like that it's it's not as long as it works you can use it that's the way that it should be it's not that important of a piece of software if it breaks or if it has a, a serious flaw it's not that big a deal right now let's just say it we're talking about a linux distribution instead of you know a software fetch application then the answer is the other side of things. In that case, it's probably no, at least not for very long. And the reason why is because when you're talking about a Linux distribution, software updates do matter in terms of security. Like you're going to want actual security updates for your kernel and software applications that you know require those types of things. And if your distro gets abandoned, those updates will eventually dry up. Now, Usually distros don't just die. Usually they don't just die like immediately. There's some warning. So if someone says they're not going to maintain their distro anymore, chances are at least at some point along the line, you know, you have some warning that that's going to happen. Also, a lot of distros are based on other distros. So say, for example, if you were to use something like Antergos back in the day, that was based on Arch, you could theoretically continue to use that for as long as you wanted, as long as you did some maintenance on the repositories. You could just switch over to using just the Arch repositories, and you would have been fine, because you're basically, at the end of the day, just using Arch. So, say for example, if Endeavor OS decided they were no longer going to maintain their distro anymore, you could theoretically continue to use it just as plain Arch, because Arch is still going to be around. So when it comes to the question, should you use software that's no longer maintained, like I said, it really does depend. And there's another side of this, right? It depends on how much risk you're willing to take and how much risk there actually is. And that those are two separate things, right? When it comes to, say, for example, a Linux distribution, your risk is much higher than on a piece of software like NeoFet. The risk is pretty low that anything horrible is going to happen that's going to make that software bad for your computer. It's just a, you know, a few thousand lines of code. It doesn't do anything to your computer other than pull information out and display it. It's not making kernel changes or system level changes of any kind. None of that stuff actually goes on. So if so basically the worst that's going to happen to NeoFetch is that one day it will just stop working. And that'll be because maybe 
Linux decided to change the location of the kernel or the the kernel name or version or maybe the distro changed the the location where they store the name of the distro that would cause NeoFetch to break. And in that case, then NeoFetch would no longer work for anybody or anybody who uses that distro, right? So that's really the risk when we're, we're talking about why NeoFetch is abandoned and why it might matter to some people. But at the same time, of course, we have to realize that that is, I mean, at the end of the day, who cares? There are alternatives, and it's just a piece of software that doesn't really have that much use, right? And, and not that a lot of people don't use it, but it doesn't have a lot of purpose, right? It, it just displays some information, and it's not making life-changing changes to your system. So on that end of the spectrum, the risk is low, and you can just carry on using it until it breaks. On the other side of things, like we said with the distro, when that breaks or when that ha no longer gets updates, you have to start worrying about actual security, actual risk that you, you know your data might be in danger because you're no longer getting those security updates that I was talking about. So all of this comes down to how much risk is there actually and how much risk you're willing to take. And like I said, those are two different things. At the end of the day, the question really comes down to what it really boils down to is, do you care, right? Do you care that this thing is no longer going to receive updates? When it comes to something like NeoFetch, I don't care. As long as it works, I'm going to continue to use it. Like, it doesn't matter to me that I'm no longer going to be getting updates. It hasn't gotten updates in a couple of years. It hasn't mattered to me then. Just now that it's officially abandoned, I also still don't care. So the reason why I thought this question was important was simply because this happens a lot. Right, we have a lot of examples of software that is very popular that eventually just gets abandoned, that it goes it goes into maintenance mode. So th there are several key examples just from my time using Linux that I remember vividly. So one of them is the Termite Terminal Emulator. I used that exclusively for years, and it was fantastic. The Configuration file was very, very good, and it was fast, and it was updated frequently, and then eventually it was abandoned. And then it was time to find something different. When it comes to terminals, I do tend to, if something gets abandoned, to go to something else, even if Termite still worked. But a lot of people still stayed on Termite for quite a while, even after it was no longer being updated. So that's it for this video. If you have any thoughts on this whole question, you can leave those in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast. That's all of these fine people. Thanks to everybody who does do that. I truly do honestly appreciate it. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Thanks to everybody who does support me on YouTube and Kofi as well. I appreciate you guys as well. Uh, as well, as well, as well. <laughs> so you continue to use that word over and over again. Anyways, thank you so very, very much for your support. If you want to support me, you can do so on Patreon, YouTube, or Kofi. All those links will be in the video description. You can follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey. You can also head on over to the store, which is available at shop.thewinscast.org. There you'll find all sorts of merch, which is awesome merch. You can definitely, it's the best merch ever. Uh, and uh, I will put my reputation on that, I guess. I don't know. It's great merch. You should definitely check it out. Shop.thewinscast.org. I try to hold, do the whole LTT thing. I can't quite pull it off. I ain't got his Ravitas, I, I, or his, you know, whatever. And I definitely don't have his money. Anyways, that's it for, for this one. I'll see you next time.